What's going on guys? You are almost done with the glide tutorial. We're currently on episode 22 and we're going to be creating some money. So some prefab right here. It's going to be a really simple one and uh, you guys are going to like it because that's, that's a fast and simple episode. All right, let's get right into it. We are going to right click anywhere. I'm in my preloader right now. It doesn't really matter where you do it because what we're doing is we're creating a new prefab. If you have a model for this, which I don't, um, you're going to be drag and dropping this inside of the scene. I'll be using a cube. I like cubes quite a lot. They're fairly cool in my opinion. And I'll just be giving this some nice twist right here. So it looks like a, it looks like an actual, um, well, we have the icon for token. I'm going to be trying to create something similar. So by holding control right here, I'm just playing with the rotation. I'll try to create a, you know, the, the logo that they have in the Sims, right? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to create. Um, I'm also going to have to change the pivot point of this. So I have the proper angle. And there we go. Okay, so we have something like this, minus 45, minus 45, that is perfect. And I'll just scale this in, let's say 0 0.5. Oh, okay, we're gonna be using the, the X and the Y, I think. So 0 0.5 here, 0 0.5 there. And it's definitely not looking the way I want it to look. Um, but you get the whole point. You know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to create the logo from The Sims. I hope that they do not copyright strike this as it would first not make any sense. And second, uh, I mean, they won't. Okay, cool. With this cube right here, I'm going to create another empty game object just to give me some help. Um, make sure my game object is at zero, 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 zero first, and then I'll put the cube inside of it and I'll just be playing with the scale. So taller, let's put two here. Do I need it to be wider? Is that perfect? Is that what I need right here? I don't think so. I might actually not want to rotate this actually. Oh, this is this is great. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Um, okay, so basically what I'm trying to say right here is just play with whatever model you have and try to create something that works. In my case, this is gonna be what works for me because I don't care so much about art. Okay, now the really important thing that you need on top of this is to have a proper collider because your player needs to run into it to actually loot it. So I'll add a box collider on this and I'll just make sure I reset the model position to the proper place. So it's right here and maybe just make the collider a little bit smaller. I don't want it to be that easy. So what about a smaller Y right here? That would be amazing. Okay, smaller Y. Let's go with 0 0.8. That's good. And there it is. So that's my collider right here. I want to have this on a trigger as well because if my player runs into this and that's not a trigger, he's gonna die and we don't want that to happen. Let's actually click on his trigger, create a new script. This one is gonna be called token. And in token, don't be afraid. It's gonna be the most simple script we write thus far. I actually know the, uh, the player menu was quite simple. Um, on token, all we have to do right here is to create a function, a private void on trigger enter. So you know this is being called whenever you enter collision with this and this is a trigger, we're going to do save manager instance state gold plus plus and then let's save. So save manager instant save and let's destroy this object. So destroy game object. Also, for no reason right here, I'll just make this rotate. So why not private void update? Let's do a transform local rotation. Actually, let's just do rotation or rotate around, no, rotate is good. Okay, so rotate on vector three up and let's do 90 degrees a second. So times 90 times time the delta time. Completely random, I did not need to do this. You could also be adding a quick particle effect to it. So right click on token and I'll do new particle system. I just call this FX and I'll try to do something really quick that is, um, that is looping basically, want something that just keeps on playing all the time and I'll just try to make something looking good maybe a lifetime of two start speed of one um to do start size of one that works I am going to be copying over to what I currently have on the real game so <laughs> um don't worry too much about that I want to have a sphere projecting with a small radius so 0 0.1 again and color over lifetime would be quite good let's change that a nice color at the end so this could actually do it. 
Okay, so something like this, maybe vertical or actually stretch billboard um, and then make the length scale something big, so something five. And I'm gonna go back up here, reduce the size of this, so 0 0.2. This is actually quite good, I like it. Okay, <laughs> that's gonna be my effect right here. And if we actually have a look at this while it's playing, I'm currently in the preloader so we have a bit of time. Uh, as you can tell, it's look, it actually looks quite good. It doesn't look bad, too bad actually. And we're gonna be using that for tokens in our game. So let's quickly just clean up everything and put a token somewhere. We are going to be grabbing this object, putting it inside of the prefab folder, and then move the script inside of the script folder. Enter any level. Let's put some inside of level zero right now. And uh, make sure you actually put it outside of this object, the objective object, else it's gonna be considered as a ring. And if it's a ring, you're gonna have to go through it. Also, the material is gonna be quite messed up and you just don't want that to happen basically. So let's just put one here and also here and here, why not? Here it is, okay, so that's our object. It also just doesn't match with the sky at all. So you could be adding a new material if you wanted to. Right click here, create a new material. Let's call this token, token material, and let's drag and drop it on top of one token, and then click apply, so every token has it. All right, uh, it says default material right here, so that definitely did not work. Um, let me go back on the cube, drag and drop token, and then hit apply. Let's see, did it modify? It did modify for everybody. Now you could be playing around with the, the color if you wanted to, you'd have a texture on this. Okay, if I make it green, I am getting a strike, a hundred percent sure. Let's just go and make it red. Red is amazing, it's a good color. Or blue, yo, blue, blue is perfect. All right, that's gonna be my really awful looking token. And I think they were in level one, if I recall properly, so let's run this game. Have a look at the uh, how much money we currently have right now, that'd be great. We currently have 999, so definitely we have a problem right here. Uh, I'm going to head back inside of I think it's the menu scene where we added some uh, code to help us out and buy everything. Yeah, here it is. So temporary, getting rid of that. We're gonna be using our own money right now. Let's hit play. And how much money we have, we, we probably already have like 999, but if we go inside of level one and just collect some coin, and it has a weird material now, so we can fix that, but um, as you can tell, we collect this, then we're gonna stop, we should have plus two. So as you can tell, 8,001, which is going to help you buy more skin and do all that kind of loop, loop thing we have. Okay, so let's see what's wrong exactly with our material really quickly. I'm going to pause the game while it's running. Let's find out. Okay, so I think the material I've modified was the, um, the particle one earlier. What we wanna be doing is go back on the effects and change that for, we wanna be changing this material for uh, the default particle one. So how do we go about doing this? I think you have to go under renderer and here where it says material, click on the little sign next to it. We're gonna be choosing the uh, default particle. Here it is. Okay, now we're back with actual particle. Make sure you go back on the token, hit apply. So as you can tell, all the other one are gonna be changed, but we can't do that in play mode. So we're gonna have to do it inside the preloader on the token that actually is already um, already there. So on my effects, on the renderer default particle, it seems like it worked for some reason. Let's hit apply. And here we go. So if we hit play here, it actually works in the preloader, which means it is going to work in the game. Let's test this out. Amazing, so we have the amazing effects right here. We could be adding some more effect. We could be adding a animation on the token. We do it the same exact way as we done it for um, the rings, basically. So whenever you enter it, you set the trigger on with the both animations, so the idle animation, which does not exist because we're not running an animation, we're doing a script right here. Uh, and then you just, you know, you do the exact same thing we did with the ring and you can actually have a nice collection animation. And guys, this is actually where the code ends. So at this point, we have the exact same project I have on the other, well, on my other project that I'm actually basing this on. So from here, we need to start creating level. Thank you so much for watching. At this point, you can say that you've made the game. 
it's working, it's not fun because there's no content, and also we're using all the same rails, but um, it's there, it's working, congratulations, you've made it that far, I'd give you a tap on the back, but I don't see you, and also you're probably not watching this while I'm recording. Okay, cool, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we start doing a little bit of content. Oh, by the way, like the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with your friends, share the whole tutorial, just be amazing to me because I've helped you out, and now you have this nice game that you can show uh, your mom, and your mom's gonna be proud. Maybe, I don't know, maybe she's not into that at all. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.